Well, this Largo man is now in critical condition tonight. Highway patrol troopers say a speeding motorcycle hit him while he was riding his bicycle. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us why neighbors think it's time law enforcement steps in. For bicyclists, neighbors say 102nd Avenue in Seminole isn't something to mess with. Crossing this roadway uh, without using this bridge is a dangerous proposition. Michael Tambusi says he knows uh, because he hears the near misses from his backyard. You hear the screeching tires and you just wait for the crash to happen. Mostly at night, he says motorcycles blow past the 40 mile per hour speed limit signs. They are doing uh, some enormous speeds out there. You hear them there like a like a, a rocket going off. Wednesday night, the Florida Highway Patrol says 25 year old Annabel De Los Santos crashed into 28 year old Edward Jablin while speeding on his motorcycle. Jablin's parents say he was riding his bike home from the gym. Both were taken to the hospital. I do not go out onto the main roads because I think it's fairly dangerous. Dean Armstrong lives nearby too. He says people run red lights as well. Crash data shows 16 crashes in 2017 and 16 more in 2018. Plus, someone died at this intersection in 2015. Neighbors want deputies to pull more people over and hand out more tickets. You have other people's lives in your hands when you're on the road. Pinellas County Sheriff's Office says if folks have concerns about the safety of intersections, they can report them to the traffic unit sergeant. We posted that information on ABCActionNews.com. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.